12 team experts draft for week seven. Let's go. What's going on, fantasy football fans? I'm your host, Hussein the Brain, and you're watching the couch. We're doing a 12 team experts draft DFS, so that's only for week seven, but. There's no salary cap. It's an actual snake draft with 12 fantasy football experts. Winner takes all a signed Jerry Rice jersey. Please, I do want this. Jerry Rice is one of my favorite players. Probably goes Steve Young, my favorite player, and Jerry Rice, my second most favorite player. The site we're doing it on is drafters.com. Thank you so much, drafters, for hosting this experts draft. You can follow the link below in the description or just go to drafters.com and use promo code couch and you'll get ten dollars free bonus credit to try out the site oh by the way it's ppr let's go okay first pick of the draft todd Gurley. surprise surprise and singer pick number two patrick mahomes a little bit of a surprise there i guess but uh i mean probably going for that mahomes kelsey stack or mahomes tyreek stack i got the 12th pick absolute last pick all right, it is what it is. Counselor, then the expert, then me. Let's see what we can do here. Might just go with the stack right there. Running backs will be gone right away though as well. So I'll probably take a running back. I can do, I can, I can probably get like a sleeper quarterback like a Baker Mayfield or something. He has a good matchup this week, something like that. Oh, so Sainer was a... Uh, Auto pick, that's why he took Mahomes. A little bit of surprise there why he took Mahomes. Okay, so it's going Gurley, Mahomes, Melvin, Saquon, Thielen, McCaffrey, Julio Jones, Kamara, Kamara. You guys know I know how to pronounce every player's name. Zeke, and let's see right here. I gotta, pre I gotta start preparing. Stop worrying about the video and focus on what's ahead. I think I might go two running backs back to back. Let's go with Hunt. And let's go with Mixon. See, most people probably won't pick two of the same position back to back. I mean, it's just a generalization. Um, there goes one right there. I don't know about James White. I guess this guy probably felt like he wouldn't get any running backs on the way back. I think that's why you picked James White because, uh, I don't know, it's pretty risky. You got Kamara. A lot of people don't know that the Saints are concerned about his knee. Maybe it's fully healed after that bye week. Going against the Ravens, and then you got James White, who could be better than Michelle this week. They're, the defense is a little bit tougher against the run, the Bears' D, than against uh, the pass. So it is uh, more of a James White script. But the Patriots could very well have the lead the entire game. So that's not a good script for James White. A little bit risky there. Now I'm curious, even though this was an auto pick for Sainer here, I'm curious to see if he just goes and gets Kelsey because you already did it. I mean, it's already happened. You already got Mahomes. Now I think that's the best way to salvage it is to go get Kelsey. Um, probably don't want to risk Nate here at the one spot getting Kelsey with these back-to-back -back picks. So if Mahomes is the QB one and Kelsey's the tight end one, I think you're gonna win right here. You might as well go all out for it. Or at the very worst, wait right here at this spot, number 26, uh, Sainer's third pick, and get Kelsey there. But I think you gotta go all out here. You already got Mahomes. There's only one way to win this, and that's if Mahomes is QB one. So I think if he doesn't go Kelsey here at the at the third pick, I think it's a huge mistake. I think you gotta just go all out right there. 
Not too many running backs left, I'll tell you that. So only 12 quarterbacks will be drafted. That's not a lot. It's all or nothing. First place wins a Jerry Rice jersey. Second place wins nothing. So I'm going more of a GPP mode. I don't have to necessarily pick a bunch of sleepers or anything, contrarian picks. But it's a pretty deep draft, 12 teams. So there's gonna, it's going to get pretty deep. And I have to go bold. I have to go upside. I think I have to stack here. So let's see what we can do. All the elite wide receivers are taken, except well, we have a Jared Goff. Uh, Jared Goff just got taken. Woods got taken. So, and, and Cook just got taken. So Keenan Allen is available, and he's been doing horribly as of late, but I think this is a good bounce back opportunity for him. Uh, it's quite the sleeper pick, though. Um, nobody's picking him. I'm going to get Keenan Allen and... I'm going to need more time. So I know my first pick. And let's see who I'd go. Um, might go T.Y. Hilton. So let's go with Keenan Allen. And Jarvis was taken. Okay. Need to find a wide receiver fast. Let's go upside. One quarterback, two quarterbacks, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, eight people need a quarterback. Maybe Brady. <sighs> Breeze. Nobody's going to pick Breeze because he's going against the Ravens. Chris Thompson. Don't know how healthy he is. Yeah, not really afraid of looking stupid by picking guys like Keenan Allen, Josh Gordon. Only concern is winning. Like, you can't worry about what other people think or, or looking stupid because you have to be bold sometimes to finish first place. It's very hard to finish first place in general, especially in a contest like this 12 experts week seven uh, everybody wants to win the signed jersey Let's see team five went Jameis winston no mike evans i couldn't get mike evans Yeah. Oh, there goes Dalton. Dalton, great quarterback to target this week going against the Chiefs. I think I'd be pretty happy with Brady. I think so. Or uh, Mayfield and Njoku. I can do. I love that stack. Wait, did Njoku get picked? No, he's still here. And Joku's still here. So I can go with Mayfield and Njoku. I like that stack. We'll see. I like that pick, Lindsay. That's super late. Let's see what we can do. Okay, so I'm going for Brady. And Gronk's taken, I assume. I don't see him. I assume he was taken a while ago. How many teams need a quarterback? One, two, three, four. I like Crabtree this week. Very good matchup against the Saints. 
a little bit weird to take Sneed before a Crabtree, just a little bit. I think it's the, the revenge game appeal is what's going on here. So this is where I'm going for my stack. I'm thinking Brady. If I don't get Brady. Counselor gets a quarter. Oh yeah, you got Matt Ryan. I totally forgot. Taylor Gabriel, turbo. Oh. All right, let's go with Brady. How many teams need a quarterback? Huh? We can wait. Okay, so counselor with the Matt Ryan stack. Uh, okay, so quarterbacks will be, all the quarterbacks will be drafted here. I'm going to go for, I set myself up to get Brady or Mayfield. And theoretically both could be taken. Oh, exactly. Oh, yeah, a lot of teams need a quarterback. I don't know, man. I decided there was a couple wide receivers still left, but I think Shepard has uh, got a really good matchup this week going against the Falcons. So it's going to be a high-scoring game. I think Shepard will get, if it, since it's full PPR, I see him getting a lot of targets, really handling that underneath work. But we shall see. This is a really good pick here, Callaway. I love the upside here. Remember, you're going for first place. We're not going for second place. And it's not much of a much more. Not, there's not much more of a boom or bust type wide receiver than Callaway. There really isn't. Robbie Anderson, maybe. I'm trying to think who else. Uh, Deshaun Jackson, I guess he's pretty boom or bust. There's really not too many out there. Yeah, yeah Corey Davis was definitely my number two choice at wide receiver, other than uh, Shepard. Okay, this guy is probably going to go for Brady or Mayfield as well. Dang. Really crossing my fingers here. And expert, probably go for Brady or... Uh, yeah, probably go Brady. Just really got to just hopefully get lucky. That's all I can hope for. I don't know. At this point, I don't know. I felt like taking Shepard. If both my quarterbacks I want are taken, I'm going to be sad and be like, oh, I wish I'd picked the quarterback. If I get the quarterback I want, I'm going to be like, all right, I'm glad I took Shepard. So we'll see. I could go Eli Manning. <laughs> I don't want to lose, though. <laughs> I definitely could lose if I did that. Well, that's nice. Thanks, guys. I'm going to go with Brady.
and hope Josh Gordon catches some touchdowns. And defense. The Colts are taken. Um, we can go with the Texans in what could be a low scoring game. I'll take that. Lots of upside. No safety with the Texans D. I like that. Swinging for the fences. Low scoring game. Texans D going against the Jags. Let's do it. Love it. I feel like without even looking at the other teams, to be honest, I feel like I got the best running back duo. What does that mean? That means something. That means something. Right? Yeah, it means something, of course. So... Uh, I guess just Gurley by himself might make that the best running back duo automatically. You got Lindsey who's not that bad. That was quite the steal. This is a good team right here. I think Sanders went a little early for team one. Um, that's still... Great. I mean, you got Gurley, right? If Gurley does good, the team's got a great chance to win. Browns have a really good defense, but I don't think they can guard the tight end position. I think OJ Howard has a good matchup. Team two, I think they're done. Uh, I don't see any way team two wins because they should have went with the mistake, right? Once you're going with the mistake, you're cutting it wrong. Just keep cutting through all the way. You're going wrong, go the wrong, keep going all the way down because you should have got Kelsey here. There's just no doubt about it. Should have went Kelsey with the second or third pick. Mahomes finishes QB1. Kelsey finishes tight end one. And then you got a real good shot at winning this. And that's a realistic scenario. Like everyone's ranking Mahomes and Kelsey atop of their lists, uh, atop of their rankings, whether it be number one or number three, whatever. They're, uh, they're at the top or near the top. So I think that was a huge mistake by team two. You auto-drafted, mistakes happen, like it happens, all right? But you keep going with it. You should have got Kelsey there. That's just my opinion. Team three, I like this. Yeldon, you're taking a big risk. Sneed was weird, Allen Robinson was weird. There's a lot of weird picks, but I do like the first. Well, Goff went kind of early. I think yeah, this is very confusing. Like I would have tried to get Goff later. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna tell this guy. You shoulda. Shoulda drafted Kelsey. Man, what are you thinking? Analyst, let's see. Jermaine Curse, I like it. Kiki, I like it. Rivers, I think you need a stack for a guy like Rivers to work with. Saquon's good. This is a decent team. I don't know what you got. What you got? Analyst fifth place. This is a fifth place team. Maybe fourth place. I like that fourth place finish for you. What we got here? Let's see the last pick really quick, so you guys don't yell at me. What do we got here? So last pick: Texans, Deshaun Watson. Oh, Deshaun Watson. No stack. Hopefully he scores two rushing touchdowns. That's what you're going for to get that Jerry Rice jersey. Albert Wilson. Vikings, D, I like that, okay. Flacco, Marlon Mack, Browns, D. Huh, don't know about that. Okay. Bears, D, ooh, that's a risky, that's a risky one, huh? Uh, that's a risky one. All right, back to the teams. I want to take a look at the team. I want to take a look at the. I want to take a look at the teams really quick. I can't say teams while looking at Thielen's name for some reason. So Adam Thielen, Sony Michelle, Tariq Cohen, Jameis Winston, John Brown, Corey Davis, Evan Ingram, Ravens D. What we got here? Fifth place finish. Drafter support team six. Yeah. Team six, C Mac, Mike Thomas, Kelsey, Hyde, Hilton. For some reason, Hilton doesn't play. You can swap him out on here. Cam Newton, 
Demarius, I don't like that. I don't like Demarius in the Browns D. I think Demarius will be shadowed by Patrick Peterson today. He had about, what's this, finishing uh, eighth place here. Team seven, Julio, Ingram, Boyd, Dalton. I like that stack, Kittle. This is a very good team. Ingram's really the risky guy here. And who is, yeah, this is a good team, man. This is really good, really solid. Love all the picks. I think we have a contender right here for the top three spot for sure. I love it. I mean, Ingram's really the, the question mark. I love every single pick. And I think if Ingram finishes as a top five running back, which is going to be tough, but he definitely could. Anything can happen. Then this is, this is a good team. So probably the best team I saw so far. Obviously, the guy who got Gurley's in it to win it. Like, you got Gurley, you always got a realistic shot. This team, Kamara, weird pick for the number one spot. James White, very weird pick. Gronkowski, okay. Galladay, okay. Crabtree's good. Callaway's good. Colts D's good. Flacco's decent. So you got the Flacco and Crabtree stack, which I like. So I don't know. What do we got here? Like a maybe top five, top 16, right, right around average, I think. A little bit weird in the beginning. Nothing wrong with being weird, though. Zeke, Jarvis, Diggs. I love these picks so far. Very good for uh, team, what is this? Nine, team nine, looking very good. Alshon, I love it. Jordan Howard, I like it. Taking a risk, obviously. Carson Wentz. Yeah, this is a very good team, and this could be the best team I've seen. Definitely a top three contention. I think it's really these first two. I have a lot of faith in Diggs, Alshon, I think Jordan Howard's a great value pick this late in round five. Uh, I just think if Zeke and Jarvis can do well, this team has a realistic shot of finishing first place. Vikings D, who knows what's up with them. But this week's a very good week to start them or draft them, whatever may be the case, pick them. And defenses are really hard to predict anyway, so I'm not going to put much weight on them. Although I'll say it was a good pick, Jordan Reed. I don't know what's going on with Reed, man, but maybe this is a bounce back game for him. Vernon Davis has been doing okay. He's been relevant as of late, but very good team. Another top three. So we got this guy top three. I'd say this guy top three. Team one could be top three just because you have Gurley. Um, not really big on Andrew Luck, but he's great, man. He throws the ball a lot. This may not be the game where he needs to throw the ball a lot. Then we have Counselor, Matt Ryan, kind of a weird pick for number one spot, but actually, no, actually, you're going for that shootout. Falcons, Giants should be a shootout. Run game's not working for the Falcons like it used to. It's just not. So Ryan could be chucking the ball a lot, and you have Tyreek Hill. I see the, I see the uh, stack with Hooper. That's pretty good. Gabriel so-so, but Chris Thompson, that was a weird pick. I don't, I don't get that. Maybe, I think at this point, we're all out of running backs. That's probably what's going on there. Carry on Johnson. I like the upside, but even too risky for me. I guess that's why I just said, let me get my running backs before it like, I was looking at David Johnson, like I like that, but I'm like, man, if I, you know, wait, you know, if I blink, all these running backs will be gone. And they were. Um, carry on Johnson maybe yeah too risky even for me but he felt like he's gonna have to take running backs no running backs the first two rounds I think that's what happens if you didn't get a running back the first two rounds you're like oh crap I need one right now so you go carry on Johnson Chris Thompson I really don't know Chris Thompson's health right now I'm about to actually look that up he didn't play last week Limited practice Thursday. Okay. Um, so, decent. Hey, what it, what is this? Right, Matt Ryan, QB1. Uh, Austin Hooper, who's been really good this year. If he's a top five tight end, then Counselor's got a shot. Uh, but he needs that. You absolutely need that. You need Tyreek Hill to ball out. He's got that upside every week. You need Matt Ryan 
and Hooper to ball out. Otherwise, it's not even going to be close. No, not even close. Uh, we got Expert here. All right, like AJ Green, bounce back game. DJ, great matchup. Thursday night, Broncos. Brandon Cooks, great matchup. Love it. You know, should be a top 10 wide receiver this week easily. Tevin Coleman, that's a poop pick. Edelman, that's a great pick right there. Ebron, great pick. I just figured, why didn't I go Ebron went and Joku? Well, for the stack, obviously. And Ebron, good matchup. Look, he's going to do good. I'm starting him in, in my league. Like, I got you. But there's could be one game where he does bad, finally. And this could be it. So I wanted to change it up. Go a little bit risky. I think this could be a huge game for Njoku. I absolutely love it. Two touchdowns, three touchdown upside is there for Njoku. And that's why I'm going for him. Uh, Ebron, though, look at, you got him so late. So the, the value is incredible. Best pick, best value pick at tight end this whole draft. Congratulations to you, expert. You won that trophy. Chargers D, very good. And then Deshaun Watson. I mean, it's, talk about risk here. Deshaun Watson against the Jags, and you're not stacking him. So the only way, look, this team could do good, okay? But first place, to get first place, Deshaun Watson needs to have a decent game, a good game. He has to have a good game and basically has to score a rushing touchdown or throw to the tight end because you're going to be helping out. If Hopkins gets two touchdowns, you're going to be helping out this guy a lot, not you necessarily. You're going to be helping out someone else a lot. Cutie, Cutie got picked someplace, right? Who got, who got, uh, Analyst got Cutie? Yeah, you'll be helping out Analyst who's got a decent squad, right? If Cutie catches a touchdown. So with no stack here, I mean, you're hoping for Deshaun Watson rushing touchdown. That's a lot to hope for. What about this guy here, Team 12? What is he, what is he thinking? What's wrong with him? I don't know, man. That's a great running back stack. I love it. Well, not a stack, but a great running back duo with Hunt and Mixon, I love that. Keenan Allen, blah, 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 he's a bust, he's been disappointing, maybe he turns it around this week. Maybe he's not, doesn't have a secret injury, guys. So, I like it, Josh Gordon, even more riskier, even more upside, and Joku. So I knew I was gonna go get a stack with Brady or a stack with Mayfield. I chose Brady, I think he'll do better. And then we have Shepard in that high scoring game, I think he'll go off. They're going to be focusing on OBJ and um, Saquon. So Ingram and or Shepard should get a lot of targets. Hopefully Eli won't be complete garbage. If he is average, that's going to be good. I'm very comfortable with Shepard. Uh, then I went Brady, of course, stacking with Gordon. Let's go Josh Gordon, two touchdowns, and give me that, that signed Jerry Rice jersey, please. Texans already said high risk, high upside defense. Make sure you guys check out drafters.com. Just follow the link below in the description. Use promo code COUCH to get $10 free bonus credit. You don't even have to deposit. Get to try out the site. It's super awesome. I'm playing this week to get that first place. Leave a comment, guys. Wish me luck. Make sure you subscribe to both our main channel and our second channel. Yes, we have two YouTube channels. I'd really appreciate it, guys. Like this video if you like it. Give it a thumbs down if you think I'm complete trash <laughs> and you're a hater. And I'll see you on the next video slash live stream.